Nice. Good show. What should we call it? Today's irony, great irony, was Tom getting dry throat and then me jumping in so that he could resolve yeah. dry throat and then me getting dry throat. You caught it from me. I noticed yeah. that. It was contagious. That was fantastic. So I means- like counterfeit bit. Counterfeit. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that shot up the charts, too. Look at that. That was fast. Counterfeit bit. Counterfeit bit. All right. We are we are agreed. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that's I strong. Know more, but I like that one. Counterfeit bit. Although the game and MAME stays mainly on the plane. It's pretty great, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little long. A little long, but effort is appreciated. Yeah. All right, well, guys, it's official. The Jeep is not going to be repaired. Oh. oh. You didn't Sorry name it. That. Did you name the Jeep? No, I never named the Jeep. Um, it gave me 13 years. Damn. Well, it gave 13 years in total. It gave me since it gave me 10 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and I, I, it's just time, I think. Pretty good. That's a good lifespan for uh, yeah. an American car, especially. And yeah, like the, my, uh, mine is fourteen. When I've I told, for, yeah, um, right. When I told my mechanic, he just said that was a very good decision. He's he had <laughs> he had two jeeps, and he was like, "We'll fix the engine, and then a computer part will go, and then you'll really be up the creek, and you'll have already yeah. spent the money on the engine." So. So it's a 1990 something. Uh, it's an O2. O2. It's a Cherokee or is Roger, it? I hate to break it to you, but it's 2016. I know, right? <laughs> I have to remind myself of this so often, believe me. Yeah, well, when you said that, I was like, wow, mine's almost that old because it's an 02. And then I was like, oh, crap, nope. it's actually 14. It's actually that old. I, because of my dad, I plan on running all my cars until they're 20 years old. Yeah. I have a Civic I bought in 01. That, actually, I bought it in 2000, and it was an 01, but I bought it in 2000, so... I have a 16-year-old Civic that still runs and never had to do a thing to it. My general- Roger, do you remember Eileen's Toyota Corona? Yes. Does that still run? No, no. Oh. But it, 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 I drove it until its axle broke on the Vermont Street parking that we always used by Tech oh. TV. Wow. My, my dad would have kept the Volkswagen, even though it was a yellow car. It was a Type 3 Fastback. It was yellow, except that some lady in Mercedes hit the door, driver's door, and he replaced it with an orange one. In any case, uh, he would have kept driving it, but someone tried to steal it. And and what I can deduce is they were smoking at the time, and they caught the uh, cheap uh, seat covers that I got for it on fire because everything inside was blackened, and there was a pool of water in the floorboard. So it looked like it caught on fire, and he tried to put it out. My rule is, if they have to take apart the engine just to confirm what's really wrong, it's probably time for a new car. Yeah, yeah. it depends on the car, though. Like, eh, yeah. On the, car. Uh, the 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 fact that the guy who who just lost eleven hundred dollars told me it was the right decision <laughs> really confirmed that it was the right decision. But let's yeah, all take that's a pretty moment. telling right there. Let's all take a moment to appreciate the car that Jenny got at the end of the Michael Jackson trial in 2005. Oh. And it was a rusty steed, and it embodied everything that she felt that she was about herself. Trustworthy, solid, dependable. Runs a little oh, hot sometimes. Was it, was it really <laughs> Has it ever broken down before? It's No, it's never like fundamentally. There's never been a transmission or an engine problem. It's just... It's always had little parts. It, it was had a little hard in the first few years because it was a dealer car, and it got uh, driven pretty roughshod, and so I had a lot of work in the beginning, and then it was great for years. You know, so. one thing I've always regretted is uh, my dad buying that uh, that GMC pickup because after a while, everything just kind of went downhill, like all at once, like the head gasket went. It's like, really? The head gasket? This thing's supposed to be solid. The Volvos are the same, at least the old Volvos were the same thing. It's like one, once once it started to come apart, it was like everything was so tightly put together. As soon as one nut or thing would come off, the rest of it would start coming off at the same time. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, de- a demented version of Jenga on the road. Yes, and it yep. was just so obnoxious. It was like the, it was the most maintenance-heavy car we've ever had or my family's ever had. No more Volvos ever. Yeah. Well, so now I'll be taking your recommendations, ladies and gentlemen. Take a car you want that I could leave. Oh. What? 
You want it reliable, like you don't have to worry about it? Well, first off, my first priority is I think I'll take my time in getting a new one, and I might do a month-long Uber experiment hmm. to see. Yeah. Like find out how much it really would run you? Yeah, like just out of curiosity because we're so close. Yeah. And then wait out the other car that's also 13 years old and and then get a, one really nice car and Uber around everywhere else or uh, lease a car for cheaper. I don't really want to buy a car. I just got booped on Peach by Patrick. Ooh, yeah, you got the leasing booped. Is kind of has, has all the headaches of owning, except you have to give it back. It doesn't. Yeah. I mean, except for some of the, price, the upfront costs. Buy, Patrick's... if you buy used, buy a certified, or at least what I did, like I bought a Toyota Camry, bought it certified, so it came out the gate with uh, uh, whatever, seven years left on the, the warranty, the ad tacked on. So it's good for me. It's a great car. Blandest thing you'll ever see. It's like an appliance with four wheels. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see. The market has opened. Um, uh, okay, so my other thing is, what's my other thing? Oh, um, my other thing, we chose a show title. We, we mourned the loss of my Jeep. I was born. What's coming up? What's coming up? Uh, yeah, Tom and I are going to have a meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, are, are resuming our weekly, weekly meetings, which totally fell off, uh, uh, the calendar while it was the holidays. Do you need to ask Scott mm -hmm. something before he goes? Nope. Ask me anything you need. Do you have a car? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> what car? What car should I get? What's Do you have a car you want to ship out to LA? My wife loves her Accord, so she's not giving that up. You could have my Ford. I have a Ford Fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that? It's a reliable little car. It's great. It I, mean, I, I, I wanted. It, yeah, it's a stick. I just wanted a small, easy get around town thing because I'm not going anywhere big long trips or anything so it was inexpensive and it's super reliable and it was Europeans car of the year 2012 to 2013 back to back so I'm looking it up. like a good car to get I don't know it's been fine I don't have any complaints actually it's been really good it's just tiny and I look like a I look like a blurch in it but other than that it's interesting you say that because like the Ford um, Fiesta and the Ford Focus that are automatics are those dual clutch automatics which have been giving people a lot of headache. Like yeah. there's almost like a law, a class action lawsuit. But oh, if you wow. get the stick versions of those cars, they're like perfectly awesome. Yeah, they're like, they're, like they're reliable they're and, and run great. Yeah, they always convert them into rally cars. So yeah. there's something there with the stick. But I, I'm a big stick fan anyway. So I'm rarely interested in automatic unless I move if to a city you go where with the electric car that may not that that won't be an option anymore. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Put a little fake stick in the fake thing. In the, Just move the it. cup holder. Yeah. <laughs> be a like, new product. Oh, Sell that could be like as people. seen on TV or as seen on YouTube. That's what they need to do to brand it. As seen on YouTube. And then clear a space in Walmart where they sell as seen on YouTube gadgets. It's the stick that fits in your coffee cup. Miss your stick shift? Don't miss it any longer. <laughs> what it also holds. 30 ounce bottle of soda. What's that tapping? Oh, that's me smacking uh, Ellie's back. Oh, okay. Like that? See, I'm not looking at the video, so I just heard whack, Sorry. whack, whack, whack. I can smack her, but it's a little quieter. <laughs> no, it's, it's the pretty, same. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same. <laughs> Uploading. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. You're like me at TMS. I, if I don't have that thing up and out of here by like a half hour after I'm done, then screw it. Well, part of it is just hey. like just wanting to have it done, but the other part is that it's news, so that's I really awesome. want it to be up as fast as possible. Yeah, that's the other thing. Yes, ma'am. Um, whatever happened to our current Geek Star Wars um, video? Did that never go up on YouTube? Um, oh, didn't it? Matt would really like to watch it, and I couldn't find it. I thought we did. Hold on, let me check the account. We, the, you, we listened to it as a podcast, but I don't know if it went up on YouTube because it was long. See, uh, like, um, when you do that, do it as a hangout, it automatically goes. Swarm, <laughs> we did video. But maybe maybe it's like I was looking for it. Um, 
Let me check. I was looking for it through my TV, and I didn't ever see it. Well, let's see. Um, playlist. Through your TV? I know. I now watch things on my TV on the Whoa. internet. I'm so future. Um, I got to watch secret things last night because my wife works at YouTube. Ooh. I can't say anything else. You're pulling a Johnson with a Johnson totally, on the show I'm totally and Johnson it's a Wednesday. I love it. Oh, I, I found it. I was about to say something you about it? YouTube and then I was like, nope, you can't say that. <laughs> well, I'm going to send you a link. Thank you. Um, that is probably the thing I'm most proud of having done lately is being on the current Geek Star Wars. It's pretty fun. Oh, so much fun. Yeah, that was good. But was I want to put it in our, our little nerd Star Wars Facebook group that I have going on uh, uh, because it was good. It is good. Hold on. Here we go. I'm sending that. Thank you. And Did you see what good. Colin Trevorrow was saying about episode nine? Uh, no. Uh, no. Is he saying there'll be dinosaurs in it? Well, I don't know if you want me to tell you. No, don't tell me yet. I do. You can go don't, read it. How about the audience? How does the audience feel about it? Well, here? yeah, exactly. That's kind of what I'm been like. But I yeah, wanna... he's, he's saying a few things, uh, particularly about, and you can, you can stop listening if you just really don't even want to know this. He's talking about Ray, Luke, and Leia. Oh, Okay. Oh my God, I have a theory and it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> what have we done to Jetty? <laughs> well, when you put it that way, I, I mean, feel like your filter just finally you're all crumbled. Kissing and stuff in the first movie. Jeez, please. Uh, yeah, it's not that. I'm pretty okay, sure it's good. not what you're thinking. <laughs> what if? Let me just throw out a hypothetical. What if? The, all of this, we get to episode nine, and the entire Star Wars universe, all of it from Lucas forward, was all a giant ruse to push the agenda of people who think it's okay for interfamily relations. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Man, we, we so went far. intra so fast. <laughs> uh, that's yeah, no, it doesn't really have anything to do with that at all. Yeah, no. So. It's it's and it, it it's actually all kidding aside. It doesn't have to do with familial relations in any way. It's not going to lend any yeah. any light on that part of what you want to know. Um, but it is about why George uh, Lucas had brothers and sisters kissing. Yeah. That's no, why. or or theories from the Force Awakens or yeah. anything. But it does talk about stuff. That good. So I we'll get more Harry intriguing. Fisher, and that's good. Didn't Lucas implies. I thought he confirmed sometime that he that he didn't know Luke and Leia were related in the story yet because he didn't know if they were ever going to well, make I don't it. know. I don't remember if he confirmed it or not, but it's pretty obviously true. Yeah. In I'm reading uh, The Star Wars, which is that comic that was written based on the original draft yeah. of the script. And and Luke is an old general and Leia is becomes queen by the end. So And she is, falls in love with Anakin Starkiller. Uh, so yeah, he didn't know. <laughs> yeah, clearly, he didn't know. That all changed quite a bit, in fact. Yeah, I want to read that. That's a comic. Yeah, it's it's not a very good story, mm -hmm. um, but it's fascinating historically to see to read the script that way, uh, so the, and and kind of see it played out in front of you as if it had been produced as a movie. And I felt like. Um, they, they don't always make the choices I would have made artistically, but they tried really hard to say, we want to honor what, you know, what is familiar. Like, so we don't want the stormtroopers to look entirely different, but we want them to look different enough that, you know, you're not looking at just the movie. And yeah. so it's, yeah, it's cool. I love talking about Star Wars. Um, where can we find that, Tom? It's called The Star Wars, and it's available in Comixology. That's where I found it. You can probably find it in your yeah. comic shop, too. The interview with the, the actor, it was on io9, I think, but the actor who played Jar Jar and how... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really heartbreaking. Yeah, I mean, everybody watched that always, interview. Yeah. It's so easy to condemn the character and its youth and all that stuff, but you yeah. forget some people put their heart and soul into that stuff, and he's... It was sad. That was a hard interview to read, actually. I didn't watch the video. But... All right. We are done. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Yay. Tomorrow.